JetBlue has direct flights to Cuba. They go on sale today. Seats start at $99 one way from Fort Lauderdale, Florida to Cuban city of Santa Clara. JetBlue only has preliminary routes to fly directly to Havana, preliminary rights to fly directly to Havana right now, but they say permanent routes will eventually be established and flights to Santa Clara start next month. This is actually the first regular airline flights that will be permitted to fly between Cuba and the U.S. in nearly five decades. And here to talk about this, US, USA Today travel reporter Sharice Jones. Okay, Sharice, i got to ask you, why Santa Clara? Well, a lot of airlines wanted to fly into Havana, and there were so many uh, requests that they basically started with the other cities on, on the island first. So you're going to basically have six airlines that are flying to different cities in Cuba, and JetBlue is flying to three, and the first one is going to be Santa Clara at the end of next month. It sounds like such a great getaway, oh, Cuba. Absolutely. I've wanted to go for years, but what's the side to the travel there in Cuba once you get on the ground? It's not your typical resort-style living, is it? No, I mean, it's not going to be Jamaica or the Bahamas or Bermuda. I mean, this is a kind of startup resort community in a way. Um, they don't really have the infrastructure yet. When you land at the airport, there's a terminal for U.S. passengers that has a couple of x-ray machines and a few check-in desks. So they have to kind of ramp up a little bit. Uh, the hotel rooms are not going to be the same. The accommodations are not quite as luxurious as we might be used to. Uh, Starwood is going to be investing there and managing properties, but all of that's just starting to get going. So I think U.S. passengers have to really be um, aware that when they get there, it's not going to be the usual tourist experience that they might be used to. Mm. And I know this JetBlue flight leaves from Fort Lauderdale. Can we expect other cities to have direct routes? To oh, Cuba? absolutely. There's going to be almost a dozen cities that will probably be getting direct flights. Uh, but it's going to help cities like Fort Lauderdale if you have to go there first from Cleveland or Cincinnati, spend a couple of days there, put your tourist dollars there as well, and then fly off to Cuba. Lots of airlines vying to get into Cuba. It's the big emerging market now. Right. Do you think that the flights will stay as low as this JetBlue? deal, $99. I think that's a little bit cheap, but I think the good thing about it is there's so many carriers flying into Cuba. Competition is good for fares, right? Southwest and JetBlue and Frontier are some of the airlines involved, and those are low-cost carriers. So I think that the fares are going to stay pretty reasonable. And, you know, part of it is also that you can't just go to Cuba to have a rum and coke on the beach, right? You have to have a reason to go. And that's also going to kind of limit demand a little bit. So I think that fares are going to stay relatively inexpensive. Okay, and what about the visa situation? How easy is it? to get a visa? You can get a visa right at the airport um, from JetBlue on the day that you're traveling. But if you're going for the media or for business, you'll have to get it through the embassy. And that can be a little trickier and take a little bit longer. So you want to give yourself time for that. Sharice Jones from USA Today. Thank you. Thank you.